new video has been released by Mr. Sky. Feel free to check it out. Link in description. does this. I honestly don't even know why he comes. It's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'll take first pick. Yeah, go for it. Zach. Jay. Kevin. <laughs> Let's get it. All-star team, baby. Let's get it, fellas. Let's get it. Uh, listen, bro, the teams are even, so there's no room for you. Sorry. Hmm? Are we going to this weekend? 100%. Yeah. Tony! Wait, what you reading, bud? Oh, this, yeah. this looks great, man. Are, are you gonna speak up? Yeah? Didn't think so. <laughs> Loser. <sighs> hey, I'd really appreciate it if I can get that by five. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, this is so good. Yes, but do um, you think we could just cut this and just put this right at the top? Okay. That's awesome. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. When we were growing up, teachers, adults, and parents always made comments like, he's very quiet. She doesn't say a lot. He doesn't have a lot of friends. She's always lonely. Whether this was in class or whether it was in the workplace or even at home, these traits were considered weaknesses and the opposites were considered strengths. From then on, at parent-teacher meetings, parents were encouraged to get their kids to talk more, speak up more. Kids were told to not be so quiet, to not daydream or wonder or be curious in different ways. Susan Cain has said, don't think of introversion as something that needs to be New cured. video has been released by Mr. Sky. Feel free to check it out. Link in description.